Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am sick. If I sound a little off, that's why, but um, I do feel up to filming, so I figured I'd sit down, talk about the Vizzy Arts, um, this new palette that they came out with. I know they have a regular one that's $85. I did not want to buy that one. Um, I do not have $85 to spend on a palette, so when I saw that they came out with these like little baby ones uh, that were $40, I definitely hopped on it. So what I have planned for this video is I can do a little first impressions uh, demo for this palette. I have not touched it. I got it in the mail last week. I've been running around ever since. I haven't gotten a chance to play around with it, but I'm really excited. Let's just get going with the video. <clears throat> This brand is a professional makeup line. Um, that's why their palettes are so expensive. For the little palettes that they just came out with, there's three options. There's a cool toned one, a warm toned. There's one for a dark skin tone, which is really dark and smoky. So I got the one called Minx, and this is the more neutral warm one. It comes in this package right here, and then you take the palette out, so you don't need this. And this is what the top of the palette looks like. It looks a little odd, but this little tab you pull down up, I guess, and then it opens up down here. So there are six shades in this palette. There's three mattes and three shimmers. You can take these eyeshadows out of the, wow, okay. You can take these eyeshadows out of the packaging. Um, there's little things on the side where you can pull them out. I don't know, I kind of like this cute little packaging. It's like a little mini, mini palette that's a lot of money. So this little palette was 40 or $45. I don't exactly remember. Um, I bought it a while ago actually, but it they shipped it to me when it first got released. First off, in the picture, I think it was a little deceiving just because I thought this palette was gonna be a lot bigger than it originally came out to be. So like, here's the size of my hand and here's this palette, it's so small. These are called the Theory Palettes. I think the range of colors that they have in this palette is really great for a palette you can travel with and have everything, your mattes, your shimmers, everything all in one palette. I am extremely excited to play around with this just because I've heard so many good things, but I didn't want to spend the money on an $85 palette. We can swatch them. I'm gonna go down this row for the mattes and then I'll go over to the shimmers. I mean, I can see it on my hand, but you guys probably can't see it. Uh, so that is that color. The next one is the matte brown and wow, it's pigmented. Okay, that changed the game. The last one is the matte brown. Okay, that was a crappy swatch, my bad. So that is the last brown. I always start these videos and I never have makeup remover wipes. Hold on. So this is a close-up of the swatches of the matte shades. Okay, so the next set of shades I'm gonna swatch are these shimmery ones on your guys' right side. This is, oh my God, this is like butter. Oh my God. Wow, okay. That's pigmented. All right, the next one is, holy crap, these shimmery shades feel so good. The next one is the rose copper shade. Okay. I may have to purchase another one. Um, right off the bat, these are so pigmented. I love these a lot better than the matte shades. And the last one I'm gonna swatch is this pretty purple. Yep, I'm gonna have to buy another one of these. These are so pretty. Okay, so these are a close-up swatch of the shimmery shades. I know Viseart is known for like their mattes, but wow, this formula is amazing. I do want to play around with these on my eyes. I do have my foundation, concealer, everything done on my face other than eyeshadows. You know when you really need to clean your brushes, but you just haven't? That highlight though. I think the first shade I'm gonna have to do is this lighter beige color. Put a uh, blending brush in it and put that on my eyes. You can't even see it because I'm the same color as the eyeshadow. Okay, so next I am just gonna go down the line and take this matte brown shade. I do want to be careful because these are really pigmented. Oh, 
Okay, now that that is blended all over, I'm just gonna take a more defined crease brush. This is the Zoeva 224 and dip it in that same um, brown shade. These are really powdery. Um, and just be a little more precise about where I'm putting that. I mean, I'm barely having to tap my brush in this to get the color payoff that I am. It looks so pretty. Now I am just going to take, I'm just gonna take this like pencil elf contour brush and dip it into this darkest shade right here. Is that a matte brown or a matte purple? Did I completely describe that wrong to you guys? And I'm just gonna put this at the edges of my eye. The more I look at this, I think this is a matte purple. This may be my favorite palette that I own. I cannot believe how pigmented these matte eyeshadows are and how well they're blending together. I think I'm gonna take this middle uh, bronze coppery shade on just a flat shader brush. I know, you should not pull your eye like this. It's so bad for you. I'm gonna take this brown shade right here um, and start that under my crease, or wow, under my crease, I'm tired. I'm just gonna bring some lights back to her eyes with this top uh, shimmery beige shade. And then I'm just gonna take this light shade right here again and put it on the high point of my eyelid. I'm just going to go back in with this matte purple right here and just deepen the outer corner a little bit. I'm just gonna line my upper lash line with this um, Kat Von D Trooper uh, Tattoo Ink Liner. I am just going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on them. Why don't they put like, do they put hazards on eyelash curlers? I feel like they should. So I would definitely recommend this palette. I think it is so worth it. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. It's extremely pigmented. It's really buttery. It goes from really light to really dark. And I don't think you can ask for much more in a palette. So I am extremely pleased with the pigmentation of this palette. The color payoff is wonderful. Everything about this palette is great. Um, don't get turned off by the size of this palette, though it is little, it is mighty. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I think it's really great for travel because it just kind of like sinks in and it's really sleek. So my recommendation is just keep it in this. The packaging is awesome. It's magnetic. I think this is a wonderful palette, but if you have the option to get this palette, I definitely would. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Hit the like button if you like these kinds of videos. Subscribe if you have not already. Ready, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!